It's a story you will only see on News Channel 3 at 11. Department of Justice officials were involved in a criminal conspiracy to force Inflaw, a small computer company, out of business. A top secret government computer program comes back to haunt the U.S. Tonight, you'll see how that program is now being connected to multiple local murder cases. It's 11 o'clock, time for news. Now, from the desert's news leader, KESQ News Channel 3 HD at 11. Hello, I'm Tamara DeMonte. And I'm John White. There are new developments tonight in a year-long News Channel 3 investigation. The Riverside County Sheriff's Department is looking into possible connections between a triple murder back in 1981 and a murder-suicide in 2005 that claimed six lives. It's a story you will only see right here on News Channel 3 at 11. The reporter, Nathan Baca. John Tamer, we have internal documents from the cold case division of the Riverside County Sheriff's Department showing the depth of the investigation. We will not reveal the investigators' identity at this time since the documents show their lives may be in danger. Now we are learning the murders may be a cover-up for one of the federal government's most secret computer programs. Promise is the name of one of the government's most secret computer database programs. Computer programmer Michael Riconosciuto wrote in this affidavit that major modifications to the program were made here in Indio. On July 1st, 1981, Fred Alvarez, his girlfriend Patty Castro, and friend Ralph Bogert were shot to death here on Bob Hope Drive in Rancho Mirage. There was a house here that has since been bulldozed. Nobody was ever arrested for the shooting. Family friends say Cabazon Band of Mission Indians Vice Chairman Fred Alvarez was going to blow the whistle on this. Documents from the early 1980s showing a business partnership between defense contractor Wackenhut Services and Cabazon manager John Philip Nichols to form Cabazon Arms. One of their alleged projects was the Promise Computer Program. Database and pattern recognition software was a new source of information and power in the early 1980s. It starts when the program's designers, Inslaw Corporation, accused the U.S. Justice Department of stealing the software for their own foreign policy purposes. This programmer testified he altered the program to create what's called a back door to allow government spying. This happened while working on Cabazon Indian sovereign land. Well, the parties that were involved in the uh, distribution of this software uh, were involved in covert operations and they were involved in uh, uh, Nicaragua and Central America, and they were involved in uh, operations in the Middle East. This U.S. Justice Department memo from 1985 shows the promised software was being sold to Middle Eastern arms dealers and wanted no paperwork or customs inspections to interfere. Even unsolved mysteries got on the case when the last journalist to investigate this spy scandal was found dead in his hotel room. Danny Casalero's wrists were slashed in 1991. It was ruled a suicide. But his reporter notes disappeared, and the book on the conspiracy he was to title Indio was never finished. Congressional hearings were held in 1992. It describes the committee's investigation into serious allegations that high-level Department of Justice officials were involved in a criminal conspiracy to force Inslaw, a small computer company, out of business the hearings ended inconclusively. The Promise software was allegedly altered on tribal land in India with a lack of federal oversight. And just like Microsoft Windows, the database program kept up with the times, upgraded several times over the years. But Promise came back to haunt America in ways never imagined. Now, a disturbing indication that Robert Hansen, the FBI man accused of spying for the Russians in what officials said at the time of his arrest was a massive security breach ended up helping Osama bin Laden. As correspondent Carl Cameron reports, Hansen sold the Russians an extremely sensitive piece of U.S. technology, and the indications are that they, in turn, sold it to bin Laden's al-Qaeda terrorist network. From an office in India to foreign capitals all over the world, several murder investigations are connected to this spy scandal. Whether answers can still be found 27 years later remains in the hands of the sheriff's cold case squad. The internal documents we've obtained and confidential interviews we've done reveal the Riverside County Sheriff's cold case squad is investigating whether DA investigator David McGowan was on this 27-year-old murder case before his 2005 death. We are still looking into whether they've concluded that angle of their questioning. Now, if you have missed any part of this 31-part exclusive investigation, more than one year in the making, log on to our website at KESQ.com. On the right-hand side, click on Special Reports, and then the icon that says Inside the DA's Office and DHS, please.
John Tammer, we are looking into more answers, and uh, right now the Camazon Band of Mission Indians still have not responded to our questions uh, at this point. Okay, you're at part 31 of this investigation. Where is it going next? Well, the next part we look forward to doing is uh, revealing a little bit more of the confidential information, the internal documents, uh, very chilling information where a detective is basically saying that they cannot look uh, their wife in the eyes and tell her that they are w willing to risk the life of their family by pursuing this case. So they're basically asking to get off the case. A lot more on that coming up very soon. Why won't the DA's office say whether or not David McGowan was looking into this? Their official stance is that David McGowan was not looking into this. That is their official stance according to their spokespeople. But at this point uh, there have been a lot of questions that have been asked. Uh, friends and partners of uh, David McGowan have been asked questions about what cases he was working on before the 2005 deaths. Okay, thank you, Nathan. Thank you.